After an embarrassing group stage exit in the World Cup, Roy Hodgson's England bounced back by becoming the first team to qualify for the Euro 2016. The young squad cruised through their qualifiers with a perfect record and are hoping to use that momentum to make their mark. Uh, the squad this time is obviously younger. There's a lot of players who haven't got an awful lot of experience in, in, in terms of international football. But I think they've shown, certainly over the last games that we've played, that they're an exciting bunch. They're hungry, they're enthusiastic, they're energetic. There's a lot of running in the team. England legends Stephen Gerrard, John Terry and Frank Lampard have all retired from international football, leaving Hodgson with mostly untested players known for their attacking style. Midfielders Deli Ali and Eric Dyer were revelations during Tottenham's season and joined the Premier League's top goalscorer Harry Kane in the 23-man squad. Also in the forward lineup is Man United prodigy Marcus Rashford. The 18-year-old burst onto the scene this season, scoring seven goals in 16 games. He'll be led by his United teammate Wayne Rooney, who got his first England start at the same age. For me, he doesn't need much advice, let him play. Um, and I think as a young lad, that's how you can see the best out of him. Now 30 with 110 caps and a record 52 goals to his name, Rooney is going into his first international tournament as captain. He led England to a 1-0 victory over Portugal in their latest friendly, despite an underwhelming performance by the team. We'll go to France reasonably confident that we can keep this going and also knowing full well that we're not the finished article. The manager has little time to make changes. England began their campaign against Russia on June 11th before facing Wales and Slovakia.